What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. So I kind of been like not really liking or loving my foundation little mixture that I've been doing. So I was like, let me do some research. Um, really didn't want to spend a lot of money, especially with like this whole like COVID quarantine, you know, like I'm not working. So yeah, I wanted like a cheap little drugstore foundation that would do the trick and I read up and this one had so many good reviews, like five star rating. So I was like, let me give it a try. So I got the shade 510. This is what it looks like. And the good thing about this infallible foundation, I think there's two kinds. There's ones with the red cap and the blue cap. I'm not really sure what the difference was, but I just know that this one was like the best rated. So I got it. But anyway, they have so many shades. So no matter what your skin color is, they will definitely have a good match for you. So I'm going to jump right into it. I got my beauty blender and let's test this out. Skin is obviously moisturized. <laughs> And I think I'm gonna put it direct. Okay, liquidy. Whoa, whoa. Very liquidy. Let me see. Like, like H2O. All right, so it doesn't match me perfectly. I would say it's a little more on the orange side. Also, this has, as I'm smelling it, um, SPF in it. Let me see. Has, yeah, 25 SPF. So that's really good. Um, it's going on very smooth, very lightweight, very easy to blend. Look at that white neck. Wow. That's unfortunate. I don't know why, but when I like in the summer, my neck never gets tan. Never at all. Does not get tan. So my face and my body will be tan and then the neck forget about it forget about it i really wish you guys could see my skin in person because it doesn't look like i have anything on at all not at all and you know what it's i i said it was full coverage before which it is it did cover up my hyperpigmentation but i like that you could kind of still see my freckles especially like in person you could totally like still see all my little freckles that i have here really like this really like this i'm definitely glad that i got it we will see how it blends out with the other products um before i give my final thoughts on it and yeah so um we are going to be using the tarte shape tape in fair neutral and for this i'm just going to be adding a little bit i don't really want like a heavy heavy makeup look today yeah not doing that Okay, so the concealer blended out really well and really actually brightened up my face. So I still feel like even though this is a full coverage concealer with the combination of this foundation, it still doesn't look like I have a lot of makeup on um, just because of how well that they blended out. So, so far, so good. I am going to be baking and contouring, but I'm only gonna bake my under eye. So really, I'm not even gonna bake. I'm gonna be just setting my under eye because again, don't want a lot of makeup on. Um, not really, yeah, not really going anywhere, so. Okay, so for setting powder, I'm using the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana. And just with my sponge, just right under the eye. Just setting it a little bit. So for my highlight and contour, I'm using the Tartiste Pro Glow by Tarte. This is their highlight and contour kit. So they have a cream highlighter and then powder highlighters and then just one contour powder color. So I'm gonna be using the um, powder contour and then probably I don't want nothing too crazy. Probably this color right here. Um, in the color shade. Interesting. Um, so yeah, let's get on to it. I'm going to be taking my Chanel number no. 7 brush. And 
just bronzing up a little bit. This isn't like too dark of a shade where I'm gonna get like a crazy contour. I just kinda wanna bronze my cheeks up a little bit. Just a tad. Okay, and then with my NYX 08 brush, I'm going in with that color shade. And I'm gonna be highlighting the high points of my cheeks. Very subtle though. I'm only gonna go over it once. Or not go over it once, but dip in the pan once. And just blend whatever I picked up from my first swipe and blend it out. So next for brows, I'm gonna be taking my L'Oreal Brow Stylist in Dark Brunette. And I'm just gonna be kind of keeping it really natural. I'm not gonna fill in too, too much. And I'm definitely gonna go for that more fluffy brow look because I do feel like it is like a little more effortless and natural. So I'm gonna just fill in the gaps. Okay, so I almost forgot blush. I am gonna be doing a little blush. I'm using the MAC in Variety. And I'm gonna be taking my no, I already used that seven brush. I use another Chanel seven brushes. I explained this in another video, one for contour, one for blush. And I'm gonna be taking a little bit. I just beat the devil out of it. And actually, instead of applying it to the apples of my cheeks, I'm actually gonna be applying it almost like right in between the contour and highlight, just to give some warmth back into my cheeks and kind of lift my face up instead of putting it on the apples of the cheeks because um, sometimes it could sag a little bit or just like melt down during the day. So I found that this technique kind of prevents that from happening because sometimes that sagginess could give you a reverse effect and instead of making you look youthful, it kind of ages you. So you don't want that. So all done for blush and now Onto the eyes, I'm gonna be using my Proof is in the Pudding eyeshadow palette. So I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy with the eyes, natural, natural colors. Um, I think I'm probably gonna be using this color, this color, and this color. So you could see like in the Browns family with one like nude, very like beigey nude, not a pink nude. Um, yeah, because I just really, really want to keep it natural. So with the fluffy brush, I'm going in with the first color, Nana Puddin. And applying it all over my lid. Okay, so that kind of gives me a base. And then I'm going to be going in with a different brush. And I'm going to be taking Warm Cocoa. And kind of extending my crease out a little bit and don't worry like if it looks like a little harsh like you could always go back in and blend it out okay then with a different fluffy brush I'm going in with bread pudding and this I'm going to use to kind of soften up that line where my natural crease is just to soften it up a little bit. Okay, and then instead of doing like a crazy wing like I usually do, I'm just gonna be taking the warm cocoa color that I did for my crease contour. And I'm gonna be making like a faux wing and I'm not gonna be going all the way across. I'm gonna start in the middle of my eye and kind of fan out. Voila. So keep it really soft. And you could even blend it out more if you want. I'm going to leave it um, a little more pigmented. Um, but yeah, feel free to blend it out or not even do it at all if you really want to keep it natural. So then I'm going to be taking my mascara. And I'm using the roller lash. 
but let me show you roller lash by benefit cosmetics and I'm just gonna be applying a little bit to the top <laughs> Okay, so you could stop here if you want to keep it more like super subtle and natural, but I'm gonna be applying fake eyelashes and I'm gonna be showing you guys a little tip or a little trick that I learned. So it's kind of like a combination of the two tricks that I did where sometimes I just put, you know, this little, can you see that? This little guy um, on the ends of my lashes. It's kind of like that. Um, along with the other tip of lifting your fake eyelashes above your natural lash line. So, with that being said, I'm using these lashes today. And I'm not sure off the top of my head what they are called because I don't have the original packaging, but I did use them in another video um, where I did have the original packaging. So, I will be leaving these in the description down below for you to find. So. I'm gonna actually cut them and I do need a skizzy for this so I will BRB so I'm just gonna be cutting the front off let me see if that's I might actually cut a little more off like that just cutting this part off and I'll just be applying that and you could save these guys if you want to wear the whole thing again you could they fell Got them as I was saying you can keep the lashes that you cut you don't have to throw out the front part because if you want to wear them as a full strip again just apply them separately like you could still totally wear the whole strip just you have to and uh, you have to apply them individually so I'm just kind of like measuring this up like to the other lash just so I can cut the same amount off and now you have about two thirds of your original lash. So I am going to go ahead and apply some glue and okay, so as I said before, you can totally stop here if you want and just leave like this brown natural little look, whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm not and I'm gonna be actually adding a little bit of this Maybelline black eyeliner. It's literally just a pencil eyeliner. You could use whichever uh, you want. Um, but just make sure that it's black because you want to blend in your natural lashes with the fake ones and we're creating a different lash line. Okay, so now for application. You're going to want to look down for this, put it down in the middle of your eye first. Oh, shiitakes. And then put the eyelash following the black eyeliner that you put on. Don't follow your natural lash line. That is not the goal. Okay, so I just um, finished applying a coat of mascara to them to kind of blend all the lashes together. And as you can see, it definitely like lifts up your eye. I think I would have to like play around a little bit more, maybe do it with like a thick black um, wing so I could like really get like a desired shape of my eye. But I think this is like super cute, really pretty, especially if you're like going out to dinner and like wanna spice things up a little bit you could wear this during the day and then pop on the eyelashes at night i think that is like so cute um and for lips i have some new products so i am first going to start with lip liner i'm using the maybelline color sensation shaping lip liner in 105 105 nude whisper so let's see Oh my god, is this literally lighter than my lips? That's crazy. You guys. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you guys. Whose lips are literally this color?
Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Okay, so that was kind of terrible. I used this Maybelline lipstick in the color 920 Nude Lust. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I just did that to kind of save myself because this, you guys, was, I mean, white. This was literally white. Um, I'm not gonna like shit on it because I'm sure if someone's lip color was that color, it would match them because um, the texture was fine, but that color was whoosh. Anyway, I'm gonna be adding this Too Faced Melted Latex liquefied high shine lipstick over everything just because i want like a super wet glossy look so to set my face i'm using the urban decay's all nighter and voila i am all set so let's take one last look at the foundation I mean honestly it looks super skin like it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup it doesn't look like cakey or anything like that I think it literally like just looks like I have concealer on like that's what it looks like in person um, obviously along with the uh, eyes and the lips but other than that you guys I like love love this foundation Definitely, I, I'll stick with my rating, a 9 out of 10. Um, yeah, it was super, super easy to use. Um, I didn't need a lot. I think I did two pumps. Probably could have only used one, um, maybe two for your neck if you're extending it down. Um, but yeah, this is my final look. I just wanted to do something kind of like easy, natural, something quick that you guys could do, um, you know, for the summer and whatever. Um, and yeah, I'm really glad that I found an awesome new go-to foundation. Um, definitely will be a repeat customer. Uh, L'Oreal has got me with this foundation. Hey guys, this is it for the final look. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And comment down below what you guys think. Or if you do this look, let me know if you guys liked it. Um, this is like a super easy summer look. Very natural, subtle. Perfect for the 4th of July, which is coming up. So, happy 4th to everybody. And I will see you all soon. I love you. Bye. Mwah.